Hello, um, I'm back in this room again for uh, another vlog. Please excuse the coat, it is very, very cold in here. So, uh, yeah, title card magic. Righty ho, so this is vlog 1.6, I believe. I'm doing, yes. 1.6, which is talking about genre, little uh, little discussion about how genre can affect a film. I do believe, if I've got that correct, I hope I have. If I haven't, that would be embarrassing. But, but that's besides the point, right? Wait, well, it's not besides the point. Don't worry. I, I'm going to move on now. So genre. First point. Genre is extremely important to the film because it is. The, the first thing that people think about when they go and see the film. So it's, it, people base their decisions on what type of genre the film is, predominantly. So say, someone that really likes action films, but doesn't like um, romance films, and they saw all of the, uh, the trailers for Deadpool and stuff that were romantic and stuff, they wouldn't go and see Deadpool because they thought, thought it was a romantic film, not an action film. That makes sense. The judgments are based on the genre. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but still, people do that. It's a sad world. Point two. My point two is that the f often, quite often, a film is based around a genre. So all of the genre conventions and things, the film will go along with those to give, say, a, th a thriller, it'll, like darker colours, uh, give it a more gritty tone. Um, a comedy, it'd be light, it won't be action packed, uh, it'd be not much of a plot ish to go along with those conventions to make it a comedy genre. Uh, quite often, a lot of the Hollywood films are based their films around the genre rather than making the film and then it gets given a genre. So that's what happened with all of the uh, alternative to genre films. What I found was that they didn't focus on the genre. They focused on telling the story, they focused on making the actual film that they wanted to make, and then that just so happened to fall into maybe three or so genres, maybe two. Right, yes, tying in back with point one. Point three is that the genre can sort of like tie in with the target demographic. So because it's a thriller film, then you would get maybe a demographic of between, let's say, 16 to about 40, maybe 50-year-old males, target demographic, because you're not really going to want to go and watch a thriller film when you're old, because it, it's a thriller film. You might do. Uh, also, you with if you take something like a, a romance film, uh, let's pick one off the top of my head. Pretty Woman, that's one. Just thought of that one. Um, yeah, if you take Pretty, Pretty Woman, for example, you that demographic, because it's a uh, rom-com, you're gonna, I think, you're going to get like more fem uh, female target demographic because that's what happens, I guess. That's the demographic for romance films. It's about females between, maybe, Again, like 14 and up to about 50-ish. Just my guess. Don't quote me on that. I'm probably wrong. Right, now point four. I know we're jumping around a bit, but this ties in with point two. The, as I said with the alternatives to genre, you do not need a set genre. It, you can make your film and have the genre be attached to that. So, give the example... I'm not going to give an example, but all of the alternatives to genre, they've made the film, as I've said, and then that's been distributed and genre has been attached to it afterwards. Rather than having the genre and making the film around the genre, you do it the other way around. If that makes sense, I've already said that, but that's my point four. Okay. Well, that was informative. Um, goodbye then. See you later. I will see you on the next vlog, which my individual open sequence idea, I believe.